Newton's first law of motion. In our everyday life, we observe that effort is required to put a stationary object into motion or to stop a moving object. Have you ever wondered if a ball kicked on the ground would keep moving forever or after some time would naturally stop moving? The ball will continue to move unless an object of force stops it. Here comes Newton's first law which states a body continues to be in its state of rest or of uniform motion unless acted upon by an unbalanced external force. To understand Newton's first law, you need to understand what unbalanced force is. If you have seen a game of tug of war, you would have seen two teams pulling a rope in opposite directions. If the rope doesn't move, the forces applied by the teams are balanced forces as they are of equal magnitude in opposite direction. If one of the team applies greater force, it pulls the other team and the rope towards their side. In this case, the forces are unbalanced as the two forces are of unequal magnitudes in the opposite directions. If one of the team lets go of the rope, the opposite team falls backwards. This tendency to fall backwards despite letting go of the rope is due to inertia. That is, if an object is at rest, it tends to remain at rest and if it is in motion, it tends to stay in motion. This property of an object is called its inertia. Inertia can be classified into three categories, inertia of rest, inertia of direction, inertia of motion. Certain experiences that we have while travelling in a bus can be explained on the basis of the law of inertia. When a passenger is standing in a stationary bus that suddenly moves, the movement pushes the passenger backward. Why does this happen? This is due to the inertia of rest experienced by the passenger in the upper part of his body. The body is at rest when the bus is at rest. When the bus starts all of a sudden, the lower part of the body is in contact with the vehicle that started moving. Whereas the upper part of the body continues to be at rest because of the inertia of rest. Inertia of rest is the tendency of a body to resist any change in its state of rest. What happens when a fast-moving bus negotiates a right-hand curve on the road? The passengers will tilt to the left. Inertia of direction is the tendency of a body to oppose any change in the direction of its motion. With the application of sharp brakes, the bus stops all of a sudden and the passengers tend to fall forward. This is due to inertia of motion experienced by the upper part of the body. When the bus is moving, the whole body of the passenger is in a state of motion. A sudden halt caused by the lower part of the passenger's body that is in contact with the bus comes to rest. However, the upper portion of the body remains in the state of motion due to the inertia of motion causing the passenger to fall forward when the bus stops suddenly. Inertia of motion is a tendency of a body to resist a change in its state of uniform motion. Thus, Newton's first law is also called the law of inertia. Well, now this law should make sense. Do you understand why a ball on the ground after being kicked does not keep moving forever? The ball stops after some time due to the unbalanced external force applied by the ground in the opposite direction. Things to remember Newton's first law of motion states that a body continues to be in its state of rest or of uniform motion unless acted upon by an unbalanced external force. Two unequal, oppositely exerted forces are called unbalanced forces. Newton's first law is also known as the law of inertia. The tendency of an object to continue its state of rest or of uniform motion in a straight line is called inertia. The three types of inertia are inertia of rest, inertia of motion and inertia of direction.